Hello, people. I am a part of the pessimist camp. I am sure I've made this clear at many points in casual conversation in my Discord server. I do not think TF2 is going to have that much of a future. And I, am, especially after the wording change with the promise of the summer update from update-sized update to holiday-sized update, I was bloody livid. I did not think, and at this point, honestly, still do not think that TF2's golden age will return. However, there was a major update today, so I will hold back my pessimism just for a moment to see what it brought so i haven't looked at the patch notes yet let me pull them up 14 new community maps shark bay rotunda phoenix cashworks venice reckoner sulfur hardwood pelican peak selbian versus saxton hail tiny rock vsh distillery vsh skirmish and vsh nucleus i'm gonna be entirely honest i like i heard that versus saxton hail it was rumored that this type of thing could happen with v script i genuinely did not think it would happen because in order to bring versus saxton hale in either they would need the saxton hale voice actor to do a bunch of official lines or they would need to accept that whoever the guy was that did all of the community mode versus saxton hale lines would be canon and like valve would have to extend their rights over those sound effects or something anyways uh summer 23 cosmetic case contains 25 new community contributed items six new taunts killer joke star spangled strategy head doctor 2 fort tango uh road rager and killer signature killer signature sounds like a crap one but we'll see uh, added 20 new community created unusual effects as expected all cosmetic and taunt cases will grant summer 2023 unusual effects instead of their normal unusual effects during the summer event does not include crates and the summer event runs through september 15th that's a while versus saxton hail is bugged at the moment service crash on st <laughs> that's not going to stop me from trying but like security and stability improvements hopefully that means something fixed an exploit relating to the contractor and being able to move she will no why <laughs> why would you do that that was one of the fun exploits no oh uh, this update sucks this is an absolute tragedy this update sucks okay so that's the first minus point i've had towards this update it takes 50 years to join a server Oof. okay uh so there's that now as for this summer feature cashworks hardwood pelican peak phoenix reckoner rotunda selbian shark bay sulfur venice distillery nucleus skirmish and tiny rock uh from the top i'm thinking let's go through the taunts first i always go through the hats first i want to do the taunts this time kill blue team i like it that's not a bad taunt all things considered for a 4.99 taunt that's not entirely bad uh let's see the second one the killer joke oh it's just the badum tiss and we don't get to see the actual model for the, the okay all right that, that's pretty all right as an all class i could probably see myself using that the head doctor what you suck so are both of the spies in the jars red team why is red spy getting picked on why did blue spy get picked on what's with this this is discrimination <laughs> this one's pretty mediocre i realistically do not see myself using this heavy finally has a car okay we can skip ahead oh Oh, so cool. Oh, that's good. As far as car taunts go, I think this one beats out a lot of the other car taunts currently in the game. This is good. I really like the way it sort of moves back and forth as it's going. Plus the rumble of it. Heavy would drive a really rumbly car. That's nice. All right, and this two Fort Tango. Aw, it's that scene from Expiration Date. It's not bad. Does it just go as long as you want? As a looping taunt, I will confess, that's just a little bit creepy. Because imagine you're doing that for, like, the entire round. You're just sitting there. And the killer signature. Okay, so he signs a picture of himself, and the picture floats away in the wind. All right, this taunt is entirely mediocre. I do not think I will even be buying this one. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, that's it for the taunts. All in all, pretty decent. What else? do we have there there's the crates okay let's go bottom to top i'm thinking stealth bomber i could see that being like a shirt change for soldier or something that could work i'll have to see that in game to make a judgment that professional wow any other update maybe like five years ago i would have said this is absolute drip i love this thing this is a really cool cosmetic but as it stands spy just has so many cool torso cosmetics like other classes need spy tier torso cosmetics 
and they just don't have them right now. Cargo Constructor. That is actually decent. And I can see myself wearing that. That really leans into the whole engineering aspect of the engineer in a way that I don't think the engineer really has proper cosmetics to. I like that. That's good. That's just a really solid cosmetic. Blast Bowl. All right. That's, uh, that's a hat. That is... Oh, man, is that a hat? Yeah, <laughs> wasted slot. Honestly, I kind of got to agree. The community is so talented for TF2 and they put this in. That isn't all, there's a full set. Okay, all right, I'll, I'll hold my judgment then. We'll see. Heavy metal. <laughs> Wow, it's the Heavy's turtleneck, but actually better. That's, uh, well, it's not awful. I'll say that much. I'll have to see it in game to make a judgment, but this really does just look like the turtleneck, but not awful. I I'd put that into B tier cosmetic. Brimmed bootlegger for Scout. That's good. I really like that. Scout needed some sort of savvy cosmetic, and I think this fulfills that. That's nice. Very enjoyable as a cosmetic slot. Nothing too fancy, but honestly, okay. Scout, all of his things are either childish, sports-like, or goofy. Scout, up until now, I do not think had any noteworthy fancy cosmetics. This counts as a fancy cosmetic. Combine this with a, uh, a black dyed Frenchman's formals, and I think you could actually have a fancy scout. Of course you praise the fedora, dude, honestly. <laughs> uh, medical emergency, that's... Yeah, that's a cosmetic. Moving on. The bush. No. <laughs> you know, there's going to be mountains of memes made out of this one. Gosh, darn. <sighs> All right. Well, moving on. Firestalker. Not bad, but also why? Wait, I get it. It's a Sherlock Holmes, but we already have the Sherlock Holmes for Medic. Why do we need a Sherlock Holmes for Pyro? I just, I don't get it. Brothers in Blues. Okay, so it's a proper CIA soldier. I can get behind that. That's uh, that's interesting. That'll work really well with the other CIA-ish cosmetics that Soldier has. Yeah, honestly, that's a pretty good cosmetic. I hope I get that. Prohibition opposition. Not bad. As a shirt. I'll be real. I, I, I can't even tell who that's supposed to go to. Is, is that Scout? If it's for Scout, honestly, probably a good thing. Because Scout, I do not think has too many good torso cosmetics. I'll have to see it in game, but it looks all right. Preventative measure. Isn't this just the Hurt Locker, but a bit more so? Isn't this just the juggernaut, but a bit more so? I, I, I get it. It's not bad, but it's also nothing we haven't seen before. Wait, for the sniper? Oh, you're right. The little symbol on the arm. Oh, shoot. That's okay. That changes things somewhat. I'll have to see it in game. It's another one of those. <laughs> Hazard handler. Nice. That's good. That's really, really good. So that then goes with the, uh, the cargo constructor where engineer has the left hand without a glove. And this one gives him the left hand glove as well as a better helmet. That's actually really really nice. Obviously that's a set. It has been too long since Valve has added like proper intended sets. This is nice. Uh, Soho Sleuth. Interesting. Okay. So that's supposed to go with the Firestalker. But again, I have to ask why. Close quarters cover. Dang, they really did add a snake to TF2. All right. As if the spy's uh, deep cover operator wasn't enough. What do you guys think of this one? I, I want to get some input on this. Bring snake soldier to snake water. That's a W, but epic. Colonel Snake Major WW. Okay, so mostly positive is the general reception to this one. All right. Hog Heels. It's just the Riot Stoppers, but gangster. <laughs> There's probably a good set. Oh, wait, that is supposed to go with the heavy metal, isn't it? So the hog heels and the heavy metal for a general metal type loadout. Okay, all right. I could actually see that working together. Shrapnel shell, there it is. And as with the hat, I have to ask, but why? Why do we need this? I don't know. This just feels entirely mediocre. I do not understand why this was added. Sam, it's a bomb vest. Yeah, I get that, but Demo already has a bomb vest type thing. It's like, even that's not new. It looks goofy. It really won't work with much else. Realistically, the only thing I could see working with this is you going for a sort of orc loadout, like 40k orc. Because the spiky pauldrons, if you can die those, then maybe it's worth something. But aside from that, I don't see anything. Cleaner's cap for spy. This feels like a cross between the liquidator's lid for sniper and the uh, the observer, the upgrade. I'm neutral on it. It's all right. I don't really have anything against it. It's, it's just a cosmetic. Up to the upper tier ones, the glorious gambeson. So that's for sniper. I kind of get it. It's decent as a medieval one. It might work well with other medieval cos- oh. 
I think this is supposed to work with that one sniper helmet that has like the um, the neck cover going all the way down to the bottom of the neck because this one has a bit of a turtleneck appeal as well. So it'll cover the rest of it. Whoa, brother man. That's pretty good. You know, there's going to be some new age TF2 YouTuber that gets his hands on an unusual one of this and makes it his loadout. This feels like a YouTuber cosmetic, honestly. <laughs> Cranium cover for sniper. Okay, so that's really supposed to be leaning into the, uh, where is it? Oh, yes, this one. <laughs> I, I zoomed right past this one two times because it so looks like a not sniper cosmetic. Um, but yeah, this is supposed to be with that. So you can have an armored sniper loadout now, which is interesting. I'm neutral on the idea of it, but I think both of these cosmetics on their own look decent. Working together, they might be nice. We'll see. The Uber whip. Nice. That's good. Just a nice casual medic torso. There are so many medic torso cosmetics that are like vacation medic or coat medic, winter medic. There's just so many medic cosmetics. We needed a casual medic torso. This is the type of medic torso that appears in all the SFMs because medic in SFM is always portrayed as being casual because it just looks better. This is good. I like this. The Flame Warrior, which kind of a Pyro Knight type of loadout. I'm entirely neutral on this. I, I don't know how to feel about this. Fire Nation. Oh, it's just, okay, it's an Avatar reference. That's interesting. Aside from the reference value, I'm neutral on this. It's all right. It's not bad. I think it could have some good synergy with other loadouts. Now for the big two, Cranium Cooler. That looks like for Engineer. If it's just for NG, maybe it's because it has like a moving component to it. If the fan inside is moving, then maybe I could see that justifying like it being the elite rank. But honestly, I don't get why this is elite rank. It should be at least a tier lower. This does not feel like an elite rank cosmetic. Maybe it'll look different in game, but I don't know. And now the big one, top of the list, the full metal helmet. Not bad, not bad at all. I'm assuming that is all class. And if that is all class, that is the frontline update that never happened. Rest in peace. What are the war paints? Oh, there is a war paint. Okay, well, I guess there's a little bit more to look through. Team serviced, that is entirely neutral. That is very bland. It doesn't look like a bad bland though. It just looks like bland. I'll have to wait and see. Secretly serviced, that looks good. It's bland, but not a team color type thing. Getting our hands on black and gray weapons, that honestly just could be good. Pacific Peacemaker war paint. Okay, so this is supposed to be referencing like a Pacific Northwest indigenous peoples type thing. Native American tribes, all that. Uh, bomb carrier here is one that's bland but that i will be hesitant on thinking it works warborn war paint uh this is pretty good we'll, we'll have to see steel brushed war paints wow this really is just gray with a couple black lines honestly i'm for it i think they learned how war paints work Ooh. Oh, that's good. Mechanized monster war paint. Just black, dark gray, and metallic gray. And the one icon in the center. That's pretty good. Deadly dragon war paint. This is like the Dragon's Fury war paint type thing, except a little bit more tame on the colors, a little bit less vibrant. I'm for it. I, I get it. It makes sense. Uh, business class war paint. Maybe it, it, it might be different in practice, but just looking at this initially, I think this might be the worst out of the bunch. And finally, Sky Stallion. This looks like the type of thing you would throw on a nuclear bomb. This feels TF2. Honestly, the war paints, they're pretty good overall, which I have to say, I'm pleasantly surprised because in the past, I've talked a lot of crap about the war paints in this game. And I think that's about it for stuff I can tour from the main menu. All right, well, uh, let's play the game. <laughs> So, so far, good cosmetics, really good war paints, but nothing that I think would really save TF2. I want to queue for the Versus Sex and Hail first because everybody's been saying that those servers are not working and I want to see it firsthand. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they're not working, which is unfortunate because I actually have sex, Versus Sex and Hail experience. Uh, huh? Versus you have what? Huh? <laughs> I, 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 I was a nerd for Versus Sex and Hail four years ago. Us. Okay. We're all in the US, right? All three of us? Uh, yeah. Assuming my state didn't secede, yes. <laughs> How long are we gonna have to queue for this? Cause I-, I, I, I uh, Speak no. of the devil, okay. <laughs> Gosh darn it. Oh, yeah. I, was, I, was say, I got a game immediately when I first loaded the game, but- But Sam is just terrible at queuing It's game. not whether, like, will we get a game, it's more of when we stay in the game. Okay. Allegedly someone else in the servers though, so we're probably not gonna get a game. So it's been sending client info for a moment now. All right. VSH doesn't work. No, no. I'm sure if we just give it a chance. A gave me a chance. <laughs> yeah, that's a... Uh... 
<laughs> Still, I haven't connected. I'm thinking that server's probably dead. Let's requeue. It is, because I can't, I didn't get the rejoin. <laughs> that comment, friggin' Kudaita1, that comment got me sad. Quote, the new weapons for heavy look promising. Oof, ouch. <laughs> Yeah, he got a jeep. Yeah, he got he got a jeep with a gun on it. What are you talking yeah. about? I, new weapon like that? Yeah. I mean, I that's not exactly what I think people were hoping for with the heavy update. I'll be okay. real. Sam, if the want. rocket jumper and the sticky jumper are weapons despite dealing no damage, this is a weapon. Mm. <laughs> how have we not found a match? We're queued for all the new stuff. Okay, so how about this? No queuing for VSH. Versus yeah, X and Hail is not a thing. We're, this is a holiday-sized update, after all, as was made infinitely clear with Valve changing the phrasing, which means that this game mode doesn't actually exist. This is a Valve Corp PSYOP to make us think that there's content. Well, at the same time, at the same time, this is the first summer update in how long? It's a PSYOP. It's not real. All right, screw it. Cancel on that. I am going to hop into my stupid server. He S H Distillery is one of them. We'll see if it works. VSH seems to crash on TF2 schedule servers. That sure is crazy. Hey, look, we can, we can, we can play. All right. Wait. Oh, what is this? Uh. Th this is the boss. Oh, there's the big guy. You know his name. Dang. <laughs> he has a necromaster. Okay. So uh, he has like a smash attack. I enjoy that. That's nice. He has so far only killed one person, and he's taken a lot of health damage. Okay. All jokes aside, I. <laughs> How did this get here? What? How? Where are you? I, I found the ball, guys. Don't worry Where's about it. Where's the ball? Show me. All right. Well, dang. This this is just a cool map, honestly. Oh, yeah. Okay. A, and we win. GG. Hale has an icon. Uh, like a class icon. Oh, my word. You're right. Oh, Upper left wow. corner. That's sick, actually. All right. Okay. Th that, that's absolutely a positive for this update. That yeah. That's new. Interesting. What? Oh, there's a war. Oh, so war. I don't know if you guys in chat heard that. A uh, gray man just had a voice line. He is the new CEO of Manco, and he is ordering us to get Hale out of his property. So the literal canonical lore of the versus Saxton Hale game mode is Hale is getting freaking evicted. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? Yeah, huh? he missed his red one too many times. Why is it that when I hit this door, I get bounced up? What is with that? Hmm, that's interesting. Okay, wait. No, what Sam, if... Oh, Sam, yes, that, hmm. that's, a, that, that's, not a that's not a trap for you. That is interesting. Okay, duly noted. This... Okay, Ooh. this looks like a really big TF2 map. I get that, like, the actual play size of the map isn't that big, but this is a really big TF2 map in terms of just the visuals. I love this thing, and it's perfectly in TF2 style as well. This is just really good. Saxton Ale, bottled beer. Major update, added a new craft beer. Wait. Oh, okay. Oh, so the scout can climb now. It used to be the sniper could climb. That's interesting. Can everyone climb? You can climb. Well, up to a, that, up to a point, up to a point. Up to a point, yeah. Well, I'm assuming this isn't just an atomizer thing. No, it's an no. everything. Okay, like, yeah. Everyone oh. can use it. That's a cool feature. I really like that. Okay. <laughs> oh, <frick. laughs> I don't know what I thought would happen there. <laughs> okay, so this pyro is just going to be sitting up here. Let this sudden death happen. I want to see what happens if sudden death expires. I think that's where the, uh, I... yeah, it just unlocks the point. Oh, uh, okay, okay. I really like how mobile Saxon Hell is. Yeah. Like, just across the board, Saxon Hell's movement. If you could get to the point where you're really good with this, this could be really fun. Wait, 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 wait. Something just occurred to me. What? Because this is now an official game mode, could you play against bots with this? Probably. I mean, it's probably not mapped out yet, but yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Or that would be interesting. Like some of them H -H -H right now. I mean, it might actually, it might just. You know what? Saxon Hale, kill the horseman. <laughs> no, Sam. I want to see what happens. This is in the name of science. Now, the in horseman's the not going to be moving around. Uh, uh, he's moving, he's moving. <laughs> um, I retract my statement. Okay, so this comes with a nav gen or a uh, nav mesh. That's at least a mic. That's interesting. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs>
Did he just... <laughs> he just fucking executed him. The took a better hit. Oh my god. That man just got savaged. Holy crap. So note to self, in a hail versus horseman matchup, the horseman wins. All right, let's go to a different map. VSH Tiny Rock. Here we go. Okay. So this is not the map I was expecting, but it looks all right. Oh, you can't go out there. What? Are you serious? What? My you can't crashed. jump out of the map? That's bullshit. Oh, man. They really uh, gave him Hale's it. own fist. <laughs> kills 9,001. It's over 9,000, dude. They really gave him that. Really ugly color. Yes. <laughs> Interesting. Rock wins. I win. <laughs> That's nice of them to give him custom voice. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> okay, that man just got pulverized. Here, Tiny Rock. All right, map. It is definitely a versus action hail. I think the other one, uh, Distillery, so far is the best. SH Nucleus. There are so many Demo Knights. Why does he have 200 health? No <laughs> way. <laughs> no way. Oh. This? Oh, that's cool. Okay, this is actual lore then. We're fighting for Grey Gravel Co. That's it. <laughs> what He's the f- How? <laughs> he only had, he 200 had 200 health. health. What? He got hit with a fucking skull cutter crit. Oh no, this is, this is interesting. Uh, let's see. I'm assuming there's not going to be much lore to be had, but... Ah, uh, that's a nice touch. Standing in the radiation does slow damage as opposed to the instant death of the bottom ones. Yeah, this, this is decent. Could be better, could be worse. It's a, it's a versus sexton hail map. And that's about all I have to say on the matter. Let's go to the next map. And it's the last day. one is VSH Skirmish. Way, 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 what? Is this community made? I think so. Oh. Wow. Dude, what is this? This is really cool. Wow, this is a lot of stuff on a cool map. It's like it is, yeah. Mercenary Parks thematic. It's Mercenary Park 2, <laughs> let you Google it. I am delightfully surprised with this map. I was not expecting this. Pick your fight, small, medium, large, mega, and mega is just a Yeti with a chainsaw. Was this community made? Yeah, I think so. I think they were all community made. Cause this is really cool. Hats off to whoever made this one. Oh, that's good. So we got the bathroom for men and we got the bathroom for men with hats. This is the way, there are no women in this facility. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna disconnect and uh, queue us up. Damn thoughts on Australian gold paint. Australian gold is default. It is generic. It is nothing special. It's just like the dead of night. <laughs> Which is why I have an Australian gold dead of night. Let's see. Oh, oh, that might have something to do with it. What? I'm looking at the, the steam charts for active player count. Over the last couple hours, roughly 74,000 new people started playing TF2. So, uh... Oh. 174,000 players playing 35 minutes ago. So I think that might have something to do with the fact that we can't really find a server at the moment. I have a feeling we're not really gonna be able to play casual. If we're gonna be going through these on my server, we could just do them in alphabetical order. Cashworks, okay, I know nothing about any of these maps, so this is an entirely new experience. Okay, top secret, this is a payload map. Appeal Cashworks, presumably. This feels like Swiftwater, but again. <laughs> It, this is a scam. This is a scam. <laughs> this is a swift water. What? It's so stupid. So far, this feels like Dust Bowl, but a payload map. Is this one of those maps that they added because the comp players love it? Probably. I mean, this. the payloads have custom logos. All the checkpoints. Oh, do they? Yeah. Yeah. Do they? Oh. Oh, well, someone get on the cart. Start capping. This is really cool. Look at this. I love this. Where are you? I'm on a bridge. A little rope bridge over a canyon. Where? It's a very pretty canyon. Where? Oh my word, there's a bird. Dude, Mac, look at this. This is cool. That's, a, that's a really shitty train track. track. <laughs> True. <laughs> that's, that's, Sam, look, right there. Whoa. Oh, oh! Right I'm shooting. You, you see where I'm shooting, right? Yeah. Those, the rails don't connect. Yep, they no, certainly no, don't. Swiftwater. Whoa. Whoa. I don't. I don't know if there's a Swiftwater but near it. Oh, that's I cool. Looks like. I feel like this map is gonna be very difficult to navigate. This oh. feels like a comp map. I I just realized I don't know where. Where am I going? I haven't. What? Oh. Okay. <laughs> they gifted me to navigate. <laughs> uh, Sam, I'm gonna bring you. I... <laughs> okay, uh, let's Sam, see. What? what? Turbine reference! Turbine reference! Uh, yeah. Yeah, those are turbines. Mm hmm. Oh, this room is not hollow. Sam was one. This room is not hollow. Thank you for sharing. You're very welcome. I hope you need more. Stuff. There we go. Woo! He's got a gun. He's got a gun. 
That's cool. Yeah. They removed all the VSH. No, they didn't. Looks like all the servers with VSH got taken offline. So yeah. that's interesting. Nice. Okay. <laughs> Ooh. Money. Ah. I like how the vault door is completely intact. It just falls off its hinges. That's all that happens. <laughs> what map is up next? So this is hardwood. This is attack defense, it looks like. Yeah, attack defense but it does not have the custom logos. Oh, so. what? Look behind blue spawn. That's so pretty. This feels like a hide and seek map. Wait, hey, Sam, Sam, come here, come here. Post Where am I, Sam? Post yeah. hmm? What? Okay, come here, come here, come here. Okay, okay. This is the edge of the map, but... Oh. This is surrounded by death. Is it really now? But if we can't get back? Uh, have fun. You can probably trouble jump over. So, yeah, this is just another out. one of those maps. This last point feels like the last point on Mercenary Park, but with a few more options. Hmm. Can you? You can. Oh my word. Imagine being a backburner pyro sitting here. Oh. Stroke. That's funny. This map's pretty good. I look forward to playing it in game. I've been wanting more attack defense maps, honestly, so I'm, I'm glad this I is here. Ask, why is it always blue team attacking? Because red oh. team's always defending. Why is red team always defending? Because blue team's, blue always, team's attacking. always attacking. Because red team's always defending. These are the same question. Why are they both only attacking or defending? Doc, why why is gravity a thing? Hmm? Because this some guy got hit in the head. Because in because some way. guy got hit in the head with an apple. Yeah, and Gabe got hit in the head with code. Gabriel's hitting the head with money. <laughs> True. Whoa, textures. Okay. Uh, oh, what the frick is this? <laughs> Why is this a texture? They is really did not do testing on this. Okay. <laughs> wow. The game, the game gives you a pop-up warning. Please install source code. <laughs> We're missing Christmas tree missing textures. This is a certified free game on Steam. Also, I like this one that's just clipping right through here. That's funny. Yeah, what the fuck? That's... Welcome to Team Fortress Mobile. Oh, wait, this is CTF. Oh, wait. Oh, this is CTF. CTF Pelican Peak. Well, we'll have to see. It's like a Halloween map. Honestly, it does. It's so dark and dusty. Woo, there's a vent. Thank you. Shut up. I... You are not what is the point? Why is this here? What? All that exists to do is just be an escape route. Look up. There's a train above the map. It's... Ooh, that's what I was... It doesn't it's move. It's not a, 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 the, the train. I, uh. Oh, the, the wheels don't move. It's sliding along. <laughs> don't get me wrong. I love CTF, but this map kind of sucks. Maybe it'll be better once the textures are fixed, but it feels bland. I don't hey, know. What textures are missing for you? Because mine are just like half the trees. Yeah, it's half the oh, trees oh, and yeah. and then a few other things here and there. What? What? Why is that? <laughs> How? I Dark survived the train. The train doesn't even kill you. Yeah, Phoenix is up next. All right, so if there isn't something that's hot with this, I'm gonna be upset. Oh, hey, it's my home. Oh, this is interesting. Okay. Now I know this is like nowhere near the area, but for some reason this map reminds me huh. a lot of fucking Zion. Oh yeah, it does. It looks like Zion in New Vegas. Yeah. I'd buy that, yeah. This would be fucking this hell to push. Gorgeous map, yeah. This, this is a payload to make. It's gonna, it's gonna get payload to run for money. Okay, the skybox is pretty high. Oh, what the frick is this? Ooh. How does this even I, work? Oh. Wait. Oh, this is a platform. Yeah. Okay, so the platform yeah, itself yeah. moves up the hill. That's how that works. That is, that's that is pretty okay, cool. Hmm, what? <laughs> Ooh. Yeah, the is definitely Very up. pretty. Don't throw. We do a little pollution. <laughs> this is literally a dam. Very pretty. Sam. We are always up over dam. Yo. Oh, you're right. <laughs> Look at this. This is a platform that moves up with the payload car. Uh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> the dam will well, fall. Let's, let's see what. Well, I, I really want to see what happens when we blow it up. So. Uh, judging it. by what's behind it, not much. <laughs> uh, uh, I see. Look, maybe maybe it spawns in water. I don't. Know. It's entirely possible it doesn't do anything because this is a dam under construction, which means it's entirely possible there's no water. That's true, that's true. That's true. Maybe we'll find out. it's waiting oh, to okay. redirect a river until the dam is ready, maybe. Which is the smart idea instead of building a dam while there's a current river flowing through it. <laughs> All right. Uh, well, let's at least see what happens when we cap. Let's see. Oh. Oh. Oh! I... <laughs> back wait, 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 wait! <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's cool. Okay, so you actually do get oh. to bust the dam. That's cool. Yeah, the debris void though. That's that's good. Okay. Yeah, and like so that. 
fall down and crush everyone below. That was very oh. funny. This is a really cool map. This feels a lot like Hydro as a payload map, but in a really good way. I like what yeah. it did. All right, so that was Phoenix. We got... Oh, no, nah, that was divine intervention. <laughs> yeah, the VSH maps just outright got taken down. It's over. Uh, so we got Reckoner, Rotunda. We got six more. This is a strange aesthetic. Huh. This, this is very unique. Yeah. Yes. It's very um. not American. So I'm not sure where this takes place. It's just like uh, yeah, we're in the institute. Final room feels a lot like CP process, but Japanese, I guess. Yeah, or Chinese. Doc, Doc. Yeah, I, I do not know yeah. Asian languages. It could be whatever. This is gibberish to me. <laughs> so I really like the aesthetic this map is going for. I just wish there was a bit more. A lot so of these that's... walls feel really bland. Uh, right, Rotunda is up next. Does anything uh, happen when you cap? Uh... I don't think so. I think something happens when we win, though. Uh, okay, so a train horn signals. Yeah, wait, and wait. there are trains on each side, and this platform is cut in the middle. Whoever wins, wins the tug of war. Yeah. Oh, it, oh, you're right. It is quite literally a tug of war. Uh, right. Well, this map looks pretty simple and self-explanatory. I like the aesthetic for a cough map. I'm just neutral on it in general because I'm neutral in general on cough maps. Okay, so let's just see what happens when somebody caps, and that'll be that. Okay. Fuck you. Okay, what happens? Are you telling that, me nothing? That is extremely Seriously? Oh. <laughs> All right, well, decent map. Oh Beats your no, cough map. I sure is one of them. I really like this opening part with the trains moving. That's nice. Yeah, I like train map. I think I might be autistic because I like trains. <laughs> <laughs> Selbian. Game is gonna be so seals, wrong. If this is player destruction, that might mean player destruction could actually get its own category now. Ooh. It be like a version of it. It's a seaside map. Oh, this is the one with the seals people were talking about. Oh. Holy shit, it's Russian. Oh badger. my word. It I... They're not collidable. Wait. Oh. Huh? They're animated, though. Wait, wait, wait. Shut up, shut up, shut up. Did you guys not hear that voice? Yeah, there's a custom voice line to some extent. That's cute. Aww. Bye. Well, I think this is the highlight of the summer, honestly. <laughs> wait, the what the me. frick? Wait, are we are we leading the seal? Cap, cap, seal? cap, cap the thing. Okay, so oh, wait, scoring is just feeding crap to the seal. The all right, who wants to, All right, who who's volunteering for tributes that we can feed the seal? Uh, me. Kill me. Okay. Feed the seal. Feed the seal. Feed the seal. Aw. Wait, we're feeding them fish. We're feeding them fishies. Cause Yay. goes out of the wall. Aww. Oh my word. He's so happy. Aww. He's happy. Yeah. So Aww. the entire purpose of this map is straight up just feed the seal. All right. This is a really cute map. It adds a lot of flavor. This is going to be one of those maps where it's like snake water. You play it for the snake. All right. Well, I think there, we've seen just about everything there is to see with this map. Uh, overall, this is a pretty good map. The way it plays is good. In terms of player destruction, I think this is a really good player destruction map. The overall aesthetic of it is very bland. I wish there was, I don't know, something more to the buildings maybe, but I do get it. Like, I, I get this map. This is good. Uh, Shark Bay is up next because we're going directly from the seals to the sharks because that is the food chain. All right, let's see. Ooh. There's a shark in the there, We weren't lied to. That is a shark. Whoa. This is almost an urban setting. We're... We can see a city. There are sharks in the water. Do sharks jump up at you? Just like in fucking mercenary park. Yes, they do. They do. Awesome. Oh, that that's a new symbol in the kill feed. There'll be sharks in the water. In case anyone here has a crippling fear of sharks, good luck. Sucks to suck. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I really like the general aesthetic of this. Dude, okay. I could see myself going out of my way to play this. Uh, I think that's pretty much all there is for this map. It's fairly self-explanatory. Like, I like it. I genuinely think this looks like a good map in terms of both gameplay and aesthetics, but it's cough, so there's just not going to be much to it. Ooh, this looks like one of those oh, Japanese oh, ones. Water. Oh my word. Spray Wait, what water. is this? Why is there a timer on point D? This is really cool, both functionally and aesthetically. I like this. Oh, look at this line right here. This is just beautiful. Something about the lighting, the plants, everything about this. This room in particular is just nice. Just look at this. This looks like a Hitman map on us. Oh, across the board, this, wow. This is a wonderful aesthetic. Interesting. Why is there a timer at the top of the screen for both teams? Oh, there's a, there's a it's a hot spring. You have to hold D for a certain amount of time, then right at the stop button. So it's king of the hill, attack, defend? Yeah. Huh. And one hill you cut. And then, they, then, I, then obviously blue can lower that time by taking. So red team has to hold it for far longer, but blue team, they have to get up to it. Yeah, but our spawn is right next to it, yeah. Oh, this is cool. This map is stunningly beautiful. There's a few yeah. places that are bland, but the vast majority of this is just 
really, really good. Wait, Zerf just said Valve forgot to enable vScript on their own servers. If that's actually the problem behind this, that would be downright hilarious. That is a gong. Does it make gong sounds? It does. Attention to detail, they have the sound. Oh my word, that, okay. As if there wasn't enough to put the nail in the coffin on this map just being absolutely beautiful. This little view into the side street right here, this finishes it. I think this might have to be my favorite map this update. This is, there's just so much. All right, well, this, this is nice. This is nice, yeah. I might actually add this map to my server in the rotation. This is just so cool. I'll be honest, I'm I'm kind of at a loss for words here. Like, this is very beautiful. Just across the board, I love the aesthetics of this. The gameplay of it looks promising. It's very unique, so it's showing that you can do new things. The fact that Valve added this as a game mode is also a very promising thing. Yeah, this is just, this is nice. This is at least an A tier map. I'll hold off on declaring it an S tier map until I see how it actually flows in natural gameplay, but I really like the way it looks. This map is an inspiration. Last map we got up is Venice. All right, let's see. Uh... Downtown New York. Okay. <laughs> I like the mix of flags. Interesting. Let me just double check something. I have a hunch. Okay, yeah. So this is the flag of Venice, people in chat. Take note, it is almost entirely red, but with a bit of a goldish aspect. So... Looking at this, there's flags everywhere. The red with a slight tint is the flag of Venice. The tricolor is a slight bootleg of the Italian flag. And the blue one is supposed to represent the European Union. So this is like proper national, federal, and uh, state City. colors. Hold on, Sam, come here. I need to show you something about the water. Okay, so uh, it is aesthetic. It is not very deep. It is everywhere. But it's also the perfect height for rocket jumping. Oh, it's it's yeah, rocket jump yeah. water. All right. Look at the architecture in here. This does not feel like a valve map, and I like that. Yeah. The no, inside no, no. of the buildings <laughs> feel really bland, though. Like, they don't feel functional in any sense. This feels like a flank route on, like, Man Manor or something. It, there's no functionality to the insides of the buildings. I want to watch the bridge come down. Bridge comes down, right? Yeah, it does. No. It has to. <laughs> no, it doesn't because the cart doesn't go over it. Just no. because you say something has to doesn't mean it does. It has to. <laughs> It is incapable. It, it's made of bricks. How would it? It is a <laughs> solid brick wall. How did the how did the dam fall? This is just downright retarded design for a bridge, honestly. Who designed this thing? <laughs> Italians did. <laughs> okay, so all in all, this is interesting. This especially doesn't fit TF2 style, and generally I think that's a good thing but it does so in a fairly bland way. Like, I like the flags, I like the general outside architecture, but the inside architecture is just supremely bland. There's no functionality to it whatsoever. I, if we're able to go into buildings like this, I wish we were able to go into like people's kitchens and living rooms, not just big, long, fancy hallways with bookshelves everywhere. So competitively, this might actually be a really cool map because there's a ton of flank routes. There's a lot of verticality to this. I could see this being interesting, but that doesn't change what the map is and that is bland oh wow uh, that kills everyone in the square okay what's the point of this though like what are we even blowing up venice. <laughs> we are no blowing up the city of venice uh, i think that's gonna be about it um yeah that's that uh Zeref says you shouldn't end the stream until you play saxton as saxton <laughs> oh okay oh, all right go. We're good. Come on, join in. Join in. Help. Okay, I would like to learn the controls because I never, uh, never really figured that out. I mean, it's pretty self-explanatory. Motherfuckers just coming home hot. Okay, so how do I do the super jump? Oh, uh, he to... just, he just told you double jump. Oh, okay. Then you can smash you get... like that. <laughs> yes, like okay, okay, I can, I can get used to this. Oh no. <laughs> Oh, that's interesting. <laughs> so you can stand still in midair. Yes. <laughs> oh, wait, 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 Sam. Hold on, Sam. Uh, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm jumping up and down. Come here. Uh, behind you, behind you, behind you. Whenever I say stuff like, like you can hear that, right? Yeah. Listen. We have no medic. We Are have no medic. That? That's new spy voice lines. This is really cool. I am delightfully surprised with what this update brought. I am disappointed that there's no new weapons. <sighs> well, that's pretty much it, actually. It's just the weapons that's really bothering me. Because at the end of the day, the meta for all of TF2 has not changed in any notable way with this update. However, 
a new game mode is a lot more than I was expecting with this update. And I have to say, I am pleasantly surprised. I think I'm not quite out of the pessimist camp yet because I have a feeling there's not going to be another major update like this for a very long time, if ever. But credit where credit's due, Valve did add something worth talking about. I'm going to disconnect from that and just say, gentlemen, thank you very much for tuning in uh, for this review of the new content. I woke up and immediately saw that there was this stuff and I rushed into the shower, rushed out of the shower and hopped on and streamed. So hopefully this has been worth your time if at least a little bit. Thank you all for choosing to be here instead of with, I don't know, any other streamer, because frankly, any other streamer probably could have covered it all better, but yeah, I think we did an all right job. Thank you for being here. Have a great rest of your day. Enjoy the update. Cheers.